We've seen the grossest, the biggest, and even the weirdest Krabby Patties. That thing's green! <laughs> green! <laughs> but have you ever wondered who's eaten the most? Join us as we seek to crown the Krabby Patty eating champion. Slinking into the number five spot, we have the dastardly villain known as Man Ray. I want you to say hello to my new partner and your new overlord, Man Ray. Hello. While it's true that Man Ray doesn't frequent the Krusty Krab as often as its other regulars, don't let that fool you. Stand aside, Squidward. I'm gonna be my own hero. Enjoy your meal. At last! I guess all that time frozen in tartar sauce must have really worked up an appetite. Makes you wonder if he's truly evil or just hangry. No, no, no more. Can't eat another. Lumbering into the number four spot, we have the larger than life layabout himself, Bubble Bass. Oh, Bubble Bass. Yara! Square pants. It's no secret that Bubble Bass is well known for his, shall we say, exotic tastes? I'll take a double, triple bossy deluxe on a raft, four by four animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. We serve food here, sir. Despite that tendency, it doesn't seem to slow Bubble Bass from racking up quite the tab at the Krusty Krab. Oh, and finally, one deep sea donut! That comes to a total of... Whatever the measure, Squire, put it on my account. Oh, no you don't! No more food for you until you pay your tab! Pay tab the tab is so high, in fact, Bubble Bass is forced to work off the debt at the Krusty Krab. This is torture. My arms are killing me. I can't feel my fingers. I feel cramped and cramped. My back is breaking. <laughs> However, after proving to be rather incompetent, his tab is paid in full by the disgruntled customers of the Krusty Krab, and he's free to go. Well, go already! Verily, I am free! <laughs> free to start a new tab, that is. Never change, Bubble Bass. Never change. <laughs> Bubble Bass! Next on our list, we have the massively talented and criminally underrated cashier of the Krusty Krab, Squidward. I hate Krabby Patties. Ah, good one, Squidward. Squidward has a rather unique relationship with Krabby Patties, either eating them quietly in the background or in more unconventional ways. SpongeBob! I'm sorry, Squidward. SpongeBob! Now just make another. SpongeBob! Hold it! What's the hold up? I think my heart just stopped. That said, when Squidward does work up a hankering for Krabby Patties, he really likes them. What do I have to do? Eat one out of the garbage? I wish I could eat this, but I'm so darn full. Oh well. I had to say garbage, but okay. <laughs> this all comes to a head when Squidward breaks into the Krabby Patty secret vault, and well, I think we both know how that goes down. <laughs> Can't eat all those patties at one time! Squidward! What's gonna happen? Am I gonna blow up? No, worse! It'll go right to your thighs! My thighs? And then you'll blow up! Get well soon, Squidward. Hopefully third place is a good consolation prize. Yeah, I remember my first Krabby Patty. 
Sitting down to the table in our number two spot, we have the multi-year Founders Day eating contest champion, Oswald McNulty. He comes here every year with his big city ways and his extremely relaxed throat muscles, and he shows us up like a bunch of rubes. Rubes! And on Founders Day, no less. Thanks, Mr. Krabs, but I'll take it from here. It's true McNulty might be the best Krabby Patty eater of all time, all thanks to his secret technique. He's not tasting, boys. That's where Oswald McNulty has the edge. But even the greatest of champions have their limits. With only seconds left, we are tied in Patty's Eaton, and neither one seems to have the room to go on. Oh, what's this? <laughs> right down goes McNulty! Down goes McNulty! It looks like we could have a tie! Before we reveal who the number one champion is, here's a list of some honorable mentions. And Squidward, the ketchup should be under the patty. And Squidward, the pickle should be on the left side. And Squidward, you should... And Squidward, and Squidward, and Squidward, and Squidward. Here, one of everything. No cheese, no crust, pickles to the left, four squirts of ketchup, wheat buns, non-dairy lettuce, and farm-raised tomatoes, carnival style. And if there's anything else I can do, Please hesitate to ask. You got it, Squidward. Ah, ghosts. <laughs> Mystery, you ate my hat. Oh, <gasps> Mystery, you ate my spatula. You ate all the Krabby Patties. You ate the stove. You ate old man Jenkins. I don't want to be a burden. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> And in our number one top spot, the Krabby Patty eating champion is Patrick Starr. Patrick, this trophy's for you! <laughs> you probably could have guessed it, but even the champion McNulty stood no chance. Here you go, champ. You can have mine. And he's eating! He's eating! The Great Starfino is eating! Patrick Star wins! The belt is back in bikini bottom! But even when the champion belt isn't at stake, there really was no contest. Patrick is the best there is. <laughs> Are you gonna say some of that for me? What? Here you go, Patrick. Like <laughs> Nope. Pinnacles! Yes, that is awful! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Starbino. So, are you gonna defend the belt next year? No, this thing doesn't even fit. Ow! My other foot. <laughs> <laughs>